So how do you fancy a whole range of free plugins, add-ons, designs, pop-up designs, and so much more for Elementor without spending a single penny? Well, this video is going to be for you. Now I love having options available to me, both design options and tools that I can use to create my own designs. This is where resources, plugins, add-ons, different building block elements, and total page designs really come in handy when it comes to working with Elementor and Elementor Pro. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a whole range of completely free resources, things that I've used, tested, and I'd highly recommend taking a look at because they open so many doors without spending a single penny. Well, my name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added to the channel. Okay, so let's get this party started with one of the latest updates to Elementor Pro, and that is the new pop-ups. If you don't want to use the predefined layouts, you have a ton more options available from Katka pop-ups. This is completely free and gives you a ton of both animated and static pop-ups. So I'm going to show you quickly how easy it is to add those in and start using them. So the first thing you need to do is come down and choose to download it, pop in your email address. Once you've had that, they'll send you an email through. If you want to make a donation, you can do that. Once you've got that pop-up link through, you can download the zip file and we're ready then to add that into Elementor Pro. Now bear in mind, you do need to have Elementor Pro for this, but the Katka pop-ups technically are completely free. So how do we use them? Very easy. Let's just jump over into Elementor itself and you can see we are in the dashboard. We're going to come over to the pop-up section under templates on the left hand side. Click on there. We say add new pop-up. We're going to give this a name. I'm going to call this Katka test. Create a template. Once we've done that, that'll take us into the library module and we can then choose either the pop-ups that are predefined as part of Elementor Pro or we can jump into the My Template section and create something from a template we may have saved previously or we can load in those Katka templates. To do that, all we need to do is come over to the Import Template. We can click on there. And we can now install either a JSON or a zip file. Now, if we just open up the actual zip file itself, I bring that in, you can see inside the Katka zip file we've got animated pop-ups in a zip we've also got the all pop-ups in a zip or we've got each of the individual pop-ups as their own dedicated json file so if you only want to load one in you can do that by using the json file or you can bring in all the animated or all the static ones we're going to bring in all the animated ones so all i'm going to do is close this down i'm going to bring over the zip file that contains all of the json files and all the associated files so drop that let that go through the process of uploading that, installing it, and then we'll have access to all of those pop-ups. So you can see there's all of our animated pop-ups. If we want to, we can preview, or we can say we're going to choose the, whichever one we want. Click Insert. That will then load it into Elementor, and you can see we then get a demonstration of that actual pop-up in action. And we can now come through and start editing all the different aspects of this. Now, if you haven't seen the pop-up builder inside Elementor Pro, I'd recommend checking the video up that I'll put in the description below and also put in the corner. We're also going to be doing a deep dive into the new pop-up builder for Elementor, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon below to be notified when that new video is added to the channel. I think you're going to like that one. Okay, so we've got the pop-up builder. We can go through the process. So that's the first thing that's completely free. But Katka also offer a ton more things we can have access to for no cost at all. So let's take a look at the next ones. So next up, we have the Katka Elementor blocks. Now these are broken down into page templates, pop-up templates, section templates, and so much more. There are 240 plus blocks. There are te page templates, pop-up templates. There's a ton of things on here. And again, this is one of those things that if you want to donate, which I would suggest that you do because this is a great resource, but technically, like I say, it is completely free. Simply go through the process again, download it, put your email address in, make a donation if you want to, download it, and then you're ready to go. What you'll get then is a zip file that contains your page templates, your pop-ups, and your section templates, and some information and a, ch and a change log and all those kinds of good things. So if we open it up, you can see that broken down into relevant different categories. So we've got apps, bicycle repair, business consultants, and so on. Just bear in mind, you can use these for pretty much anything you want. These are just starter examples. So just because you're in a particular business, you can still pull anything you want that you like the design from any of these different categories. 
If we open those up, then you can see they're broken down into both page and section templates. So if we open the page section, you can see we have there's the JSON file and the relevant template for or the relevant uh, JPEG. If we come back up, go into the sections, you can see we've got things in like cleaning types, we've got contact us, featured section, and so on and so forth. So a ton of really cool resources. If you want to see what these look like, we can simply come in and take a look at the templates. So you can see this will give us some information about those templates. And if we want, we can then go and view them. So we've got the page templates. Let's take a look at those. Some great examples of good looking starter pages, which we can use to build up our website. So again, there's another completely free resource for Elementor and Elementor Pro. So let's take a look at the next free option. So how do you fancy a ton of really cool new additions, extra widgets and so on for Elementor and Elementor Pro? Well, take a look at HT Mega. If we scroll through, you can see there are 360 blocks, 80 plus widgets, more than enough to get you pretty much everything you should need for a great looking website. So if you are in a position where you can't necessarily afford to go to the Pro version, a lot of the different features that are available in the Pro version are also available completely free of charge inside HT Mega. So you can see things like the accordion, animated headings, call to action, dual buttons and so on, a ton of really great looking, great usable widgets for your Elementor builds. If we scroll down, you can see there's also a ton of great looking designs, blocks, all the kinds of things you can use to build up a great starting point for your website to speed up your productivity and just give you a great resource, all completely free. So again, another ton of options in there. And as always, the link for this will be in the description below. So download it, check it out, see what you think of it. So how about another 350 plus professionally designed Elementor templates, both page templates and block templates, again, for absolutely no cost? Well, look no further than Envato Elements, the free template pack to work with Elementor. So all you need to do is come into your dashboard, pop up to the plugin section, do a search for Envato Elements and you'll see there's already a plugin there for it. So we just need to install that and activate it and we'll get access to this 350 plus range of free templates for blocks and pages. So just simply hit activate and once we've done that, we're ready then to start harnessing the power and the flexibility that, that gives us for no cost. So once that's installed, we simply come over to the Elements section in the left-hand side in our navigation, click inside there, that'll take us over. We can then go through putting the details that they need and once we're ready to go, we can just continue and take a look at those templates. So once you've installed that and set up the account and everything, you'll see now we have everything broken down into different sections. So we've got all the different templates. You can see they're broken down to things like music festival, marketing business, online tutorials, and so on. So a range of predefined different styles. We can go through and filter these if we want to. So we can say we were looking for corporate and business based layouts. We can click, go through and find exactly what we want in there. Now you can see that there's various different things that are available. You'll notice the Pro in the corner, which just means you need to have Pro installed, Elemental Pro installed, to take advantage of some of the different blocks that are part of that particular layout. However, everything has a nice consistent theme, and you can see you can quickly harness the power that we have available to make sure that any design you use as a starting point looks good and is very, very quick and easy to work with. Now, I've already covered Envato Elements template kits in a lot more detail in its own dedicated video, which I'll link in the corner and also in the description below. So check that out if you want me to go into more detail and see exactly what's on offer. Now, there's one Elemental plugin that really impressed us recently. That is Premium Add-ons for Elemental. The reason being is not only do they have some well thought out add-ons for Elemental itself, and they're completely free, but there's also some integration in there with things like advanced custom field pods, tool set, and so on. So you can harness dynamic data being pulled into these free widgets that really do open up a ton of possibilities. They do offer a pro version, but the free version has a ton of really cool different features and widgets in there, which I would certainly recommend checking out. Now, I've covered this in a lot more detail, so check out the video. It'll be linked in the corner and in the description below, so you can check out exactly why we thought this was such a vital plugin for every Elementor user. But just download it, install it, and start utilizing those free tools. Now, I've been using Elementor and Elementor Pro for a long, long time. And one of the things that I've always felt is lacking a little bit inside Elementor is the gallery plugin. So on a search to try to find something that kind of met the needs that I wanted, I come across CSS Igniter and their free suite of Elements Plus plugins. 
Now, if we take a look, there are a range of plugins in here. We've got things like Button Plus. We've got Labels Plus. So if you're using something like WooCommerce, it's a very, very cool tool to add additional labels that are specific to your particular store. But Gallery Plus was one of those things that really sold it for me. It's a very, very flexible, easy to use and good looking gallery. You can integrate into Elementor that just give you a ton more controls than the core Elementor did. So this is another one of those free suite of plugins. Doesn't have a ton of widgets in there, but what you do get are well designed, well thought out, and they work flawlessly with Elementor and Elementor Pro. So download a copy, install it, test it out, and I'm sure you'll find the same thing. It's a really well thought out suite of plugins that expands some of the things that you need. So take a look at Elements Plus. So I'm going to wrap up our walkthrough of these free resources for Elemental and Elemental Pro there. Now there are tons of other ones out there, but these are ones that I've used, tested, and I really like and would recommend taking a look at. Like I say, if you're in a position where you can only get the free Elemental and you want some additional tools, widgets, plugins, and designs, these are some great resources you can tap into for no money and really expand the arsenal of tools that you've got and design options. So have you come across any great tools, resources, designs, and so on for Elementor that are completely free? If you have, pop those links in the description below. Let us all share in that knowledge, and we can all start to benefit from these fantastic resources that open up the scope of what can be achieved with Elementor without outlaying any cash whatsoever. Well, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But let me know in the comment section why you didn't enjoy the video. It helps me create better content for you moving forward. As always, my name's been Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.